Before going into the works to see some of the processes involved in the manufacture of a thermionic valve, let us take a look at the various parts of a typical valve and how they fit together, so that we may recognize them again later on. This is the bottom mica on which the assembly will be built. Next, the cathode. This radiates electrons when heated. Grids one, two, and three. These control the flow of electrons passing from the cathode to the anode. Now the anode. This collects the electrons which have been passed by the grids. The top mica, which anchors the free ends of the other components. the heater to energize the cathode, and the metal strip to connect grid one to the base. Here is the base, which will be used to plug the valve into its socket. The cooling plates, which dissipate heat from the first grid. Next, the getter, which contains a barium alloy. This material will later be used to trap and absorb any minute traces of gas which may be left in the valve. Here is the complete assembly. And finally, the glass bulb into which the assembly is sealed. 